the linearity study is performed. When you want to use the instrument to measure several processes with different reference values, the linearity study will establish whether the bias is constant across the instrument scale and whether such bias is insignificantly small. The linearity study is performed taking repeated measures of reference parts. The reference parts are spread across the operating range of the instrument. The means of these measures are compared with the reference values. We select master parts for at least five levels along the operating range of the instrument. At the beginning, we establish the reference values of the parts by traceable standard measures. The references can either be masters or parts selected from our production line. If production parts are selected, the reference values are established by better measurement systems than the one being studied. We measure each reference part more than 10 times. The measurements need to be taken by a single appraiser in a normal manner based on the standard measuring procedure. We log the measured data for each part in the Pro-MSA Linearity Study Worksheet. We specify the process variation observed for a typical process measured by the instrument. We may want to use the most critical parameter the instrument measures for the purpose. We obtain this information from SPC studies conducted on the process. The process variation is expressed in terms of the process standard deviation. We enter the typical tolerance on the parts being used as reference. Once again, we may want to use the tolerance on the most critical parameter the instrument measures. This information is found on our part drawings or specification sheets. Now we are ready with our data. On the click of the Calculate button, Pro-MSA will evaluate our data and display results in a traffic signal format. On the right, signals are given for the instrument repeatability. Instrument repeatability is compared with the process variation and the tolerance. A high percent repeatability implies that the instrument variation is overshadowing the process variation. The instrument may not be suitable to measure the process from which the reference parts come. Any evaluation of linearity from such data can be misleading. The signal for linearity acceptance tells you whether you have a statistically significant bias difference across the operating scale of the instrument. This is established by performing a t-test on the data. Linearity is not acceptable if the bias at all levels is either significantly different from each other or is significantly different from zero. For detailed analysis, look at the linearity plot on the next tab. Linearity can be acceptable if the bias equal to zero line is bounded completely by the confidence bounds on the linearity regression plot. Results of statistical analysis are displayed in the table next to the plots. For acceptance of linearity studies, the two hypothesis tests should qualify. One test examines whether the bias is constant across the instrument operating scale and the other test examines whether the bias is not significantly different from zero. The linearity study can be unacceptable on two counts. One, the percent repeatability could be high. The instrument variation is too high to effectively measure the process making the reference part. In such a case, the instrument may require maintenance or calibration to improve its repeatability. If this is not possible, consider selecting a better instrument for measuring the process. Second, the bias equal to zero line may not be bounded completely by the confidence bound on the regression plot. In such a case, pro-MSA analysis gives the range on the scale where the bias equals zero 
is contained within the confidence bound. The linearity error is insignificantly small in this region. The amount of error at other locations on the scale can be determined by the bias at that level. Bias correction factors can be applied to each reading taken at these nominal points on the range. Linearity study is performed to examine the suitability of the measurement system to measure processes at different nominals along the operating range. It establishes the quantum of error for the instrument along the entire range.